Do you hear about that fucking object that's hurtling towards Earth at like 130,000 miles an hour? Yeah, that might solve all our problems. When Elon Musk speaks, the world listens. But this time, his words feel more like a science fiction thriller than breaking news. The billionaire innovator has just confirmed what many have only dared to speculate. The mysterious object known as 3i Atlas isn't just another rock drifting through space. Suddenly, the question isn't just about exploring the stars, it's about what might already be watching us from them. The visitor that turned astronomy into science fiction. Scientists have a word for objects that shouldn't exist, anomalies. But 3i Atlas isn't just an anomaly. It's a cosmic middle finger pointed directly at our understanding of how the universe works. When this thing first appeared on telescope screens, in July 2025, it didn't just break the rules of physics. It grabbed those rules, crumpled them up, and tossed them into the nearest black hole. Astronomers worldwide have abandoned sleep, relationships, and basic hygiene to study this thing, because they know we might never see anything like it again in our lifetimes. The strangest part isn't what 3i Atlas is doing now. It's what it was doing months before anyone noticed. Back in May, a satellite designed to hunt planets around distant stars was accidentally photographing the most important discovery in modern astronomy. For three weeks, this mechanical eye watched 3 i Atlas perform impossible tricks in the depths of our solar system, dutifully recording data that wouldn't be understood until months later when humans finally realized they'd been staring at something that rewrites textbooks. It's like accidentally filming Bigfoot while trying to capture your kid's birthday party, then not noticing until you upload the footage months later. Time has become the enemy in this story. 3i Atlas isn't some asteroid that will orbit our sun for centuries, giving scientists leisurely decades to study it. This visitor is moving through our solar system like a bullet through tissue paper, far too fast for our star's gravity to capture. When it vanishes behind the sun in October, we lose our window forever. Every observatory on Earth has abandoned their scheduled research to focus on this single moving point of light, because missing this opportunity means potentially waiting millennia for another chance. National rivalries have been set aside, research budgets emptied, and careers staked on understanding this object before it disappears forever. The Outsiders Before 3i, Atlas arrived to complicate our lives. Exactly two confirmed visitors from other star systems had ever entered our cosmic neighborhood. Each one taught us that the universe is far stranger than our theories suggested, building toward the revelation that's currently terrorizing the astronomical community. These visitors form a twisted family tree of cosmic weirdness, with each newcomer more baffling than the last. Oumuamua launched this nightmare in 2017 by refusing to follow any known laws of physics. Shape-wise, it looked like someone had taken a normal asteroid and stretched it into a cigar, roughly the length of a football field. But the real horror wasn't its appearance. It was what this thing didn't do. Every comet or asteroid that approaches our sun starts melting as stellar radiation heats its surface. Ice becomes gas, rocks release dust, and these processes create the glowing halos and streaming tails that make these objects visible from Earth. It's basic thermodynamics, the kind of predictable cosmic behavior we've observed since Galileo first pointed a telescope at the sky. Oumuamua did none of this. It remained completely inert as it approached the sun, showing no signs of heating, melting, or gas release. It was like watching an ice cube maintain its shape in a furnace. The scientific community went through increasingly desperate explanations. Maybe it was made of materials we'd never encountered. Maybe it was held together by exotic chemistry. A few researchers, usually after several drinks, quietly wondered 
if it might be artificial. Some scientists still wake up in cold sweats, thinking about the implications of what Oumuamua might have been, its mysteries forever unsolved as it races away toward distant stars. 2. I. Borisov arrived in 2019 and immediately disappointed everyone by acting completely normal. It developed a proper comet tail, released gas as it heated up, and followed every predictable pattern scientists had spent centuries documenting. The only remarkable thing about Tui Borisov was its origin beyond our solar system. After the chaos Oumuamua had caused, researchers were almost grateful to encounter something that made sense. It was like meeting an alien who immediately asked for directions to the nearest coffee shop in perfect English. Comforting, but somewhat anticlimactic. 3i Atlas has now joined this exclusive club and immediately made its predecessors look like warm-up acts. This new arrival isn't just ignoring our rules. It's performing feats that shouldn't be possible according to our current understanding of matter, energy, and space. And unlike Umwamwa, which maintained a dignified silence about its mysteries, 3 I Atlas is practically screaming its strangeness at us through every instrument we point at it. The three-phase engine. As weeks passed and 3 I Atlas crept closer to the inner solar system, patterns emerged in its behavior. Engineers realized they were watching something like a three-stage rocket engine, but operating on principles barely theorized in human science. Chemical rocket engines operate in single combustion chambers with fixed fuel mixtures, producing exhaust temperatures of 2,000 to 4,000 Kelvin. Ion engines use electric fields to accelerate xenon or other noble gases to exhaust velocities of 30,000 meters per second. All effect thrusters combine electric and magnetic fields to achieve exhaust velocities up to 50,000 meters per second with power requirements of 1 to 10 kilowatts. The most advanced theoretical fusion rockets could potentially reach exhaust velocities of 300,000 meters per second with power outputs in the gigawatt range. The initial red-yellow phase resembled a startup sequence, the system warming up, building power gradually, establishing basic thrust. When it switched to green, the object began what looked like its main propulsion phase, higher energy, more efficient, leveraging interaction with the sun's magnetic field to enhance performance. Based on subtle changes now appearing in the emission spectrum, NASA predicts a third phase coming soon, likely a blue-white plasma mode indicating maximum energy output. This could either provide braking power to establish orbit in our system or acceleration to slingshot around the sun and back toward interstellar space. What terrified engineers wasn't just the sophistication, but the adaptability. 3i Atlas appeared to be adjusting its propulsion chemistry based on local space conditions, tweaking its formula like a car shifting gears as road conditions change. This kind of adaptability suggested either incredible autonomy or active control by intelligence. The Hydrogen Whisper On October 3rd, radio astronomers monitoring 3i Atlas detected something that turned speculation into cold reality. As the object approached Mars's orbit, radio telescopes detected regular pulses at exactly 1,000 420 megahertz, the hydrogen line frequency. This specific frequency represents the natural emission wavelength of hydrogen atoms in space, making it the universal communication channel of the cosmos. SETI researchers have monitored this frequency for decades, assuming any technological civilization would recognize its universal significance. The 21 centimeter hydrogen line occurs when the electron in a hydrogen atom flips its spin orientation relative to the proton, releasing a photon with precisely 1.420.405751 megahertz frequency. This transition has a probability of occurrence once every 10 million years for any individual hydrogen atom, but space contains so much hydrogen that the emission becomes detectable from vast distances. Radio telescopes monitoring this frequency include the 305-meter Arecibo dish 
in Puerto Rico, the 100-meter Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia, and the Very Large Arrays 27 linked dishes in New Mexico. Now, something was broadcasting on exactly that channel, pulsing in perfect sync with the green flashes visible in telescopes. Each time the plasma brightened, the radio signal peaked. Two systems locked together with millisecond precision. Signal analysis revealed complexity beyond random noise. Patterns within patterns suggesting either encoded information or the electromagnetic signature of an incredibly advanced power system. Some patterns repeated exactly, others varied according to mathematical progression. When astrophysicists ran the signal through pattern-matching algorithms, they found sequences that couldn't occur randomly even once in billions of years. Whether deliberate message or technological side effect, the hydrogen line emissions confirmed what many had feared. 3i Atlas carried technology far beyond current human understanding, operating actively within our solar system. The Invisible Threat By early November, NASA had shifted from scientific curiosity to practical concerns. The green plasma exhaust trailing behind 3i Atlas presented unprecedented hazards to Earth's satellite network. The mixture of ionized cyanide gas and microscopic nickel particles created what engineers described as an electrically charged sandstorm moving at orbital velocity. Earth's orbital environment currently hosts over 8,000 active satellites providing communications, weather monitoring, navigation, scientific research, and military surveillance. These satellites operate in various orbital shells, 400 to 1,200 kilometers below Earth orbit, 20,200 kilometers for GPS satellites in medium Earth orbit, and 35,000 786 kilometers for geostationary communications satellites. Each satellite contains delicate solar panel, producing 1 to 15 kilowatts of power, sensitive electronics operating at voltages below 50 volts, and antennas designed for pristine vacuum conditions. Satellites aren't designed for this. Their delicate solar panels, exposed antennas, and sensitive electronics operate in pristine vacuum, not clouds of reactive chemical carrying static charges that could short-circuit entire systems. A direct crossing of orbital paths could potentially disable dozens of communication satellites, weather monitoring systems, and navigation networks. For the first time, space agencies worldwide began drafting emergency procedures for safeguarding satellites against a hazard no engineer had ever contemplated. Repositioning maneuvers, emergency shutdowns, protective orientations, all options carried costs and risks, but the alternative could mean billions in damaged infrastructure. As contingency plans developed, NASA announced its boldest move, the Juno-1 mission. This hastily assembled probe represented something unprecedented, a spacecraft specifically designed to dive through alien exhaust. Its revolutionary ceramic nickel composite shield could theoretically withstand both the chemical cocktail and electrical charges of the plasma tail. Inside, radiation-hardened instruments would sample the plasma directly and capture high-resolution images of whatever lurked at the heart of 3i Atlas. The Juno-1 spacecraft weighs 3,600 kilograms and measures 4.5 meters in diameter with solar panels spanning 20 meters tip to tip. Its ceramic nickel composite shield consists of alternating layers of aluminum oxide and nickel mesh designed to withstand temperatures up to 2,000 Kelvin and electric fields up to 100,000 volts per meter. The probe carries 11 scientific instruments, including mass spectrometers, plasma analyzers, magnetometers, high-resolution cameras, and radio communication systems hardened against electromagnetic interference. Engineers acknowledged the mission's risks openly. The plasma tail behaved unpredictably, interacting with solar radiation in complex ways. One miscalculation could mean destruction for the probe, but success would provide humanity's first direct look at what might be the most significant discovery in human history. The Green Eye Opens Amateur astronomers worldwide have joined the watch, turning backyard telescopes 
toward the green visitor. Even with modest equipment, observers report seeing rhythmic flashes along the tail, pulses so regular they seem coded. More powerful amateur setups have captured structured patterns within the plasma stream, geometric formations that shift and reorganize like digital architecture. Ground-based telescopes with apertures of 8 to 10 meters can resolve features as small as 100 meters on 3i Atlas at its current distance. The extremely large telescope under construction in Chile will feature a 39-meter primary mirror capable of resolving 10-meter features when completed. Space-based observatories avoid atmospheric distortion, providing theoretical resolution limits based purely on aperture size and wavelength of observation. Most striking to all observers is how the central point of 3 a Duty Atlas remains unnaturally bright and focused. Nothing like the fuzzy, diffuse appearance of normal comet nuclei. Through larger telescopes, this central region sometimes reveals glimpses of structured surfaces beneath the green glow. Angular reflections suggesting metallic construction rather than natural rock. Based on current trajectory and deceleration rates, astronomers project that 3i Atlas will reach its closest solar approach in approximately six weeks. At that point, it will either continue its controlled deceleration, potentially establishing orbit somewhere between Earth and Mars, or maintain velocity and swing around the Sun before returning to deep space. The world now watches a green light growing brighter in our night sky, a light that pulses with machine precision, broadcasts on the hydrogen frequency, and navigates with impossible accuracy. Seven billion humans await the next development, with emotions ranging from scientific excitement to existential dread. Something unlike anything in recorded history has entered our cosmic neighborhood under its own power. The green messenger travels closer each day, changing color and chemistry as it approaches, running an engine that rewrites physics textbooks and trailing a signal that whispers across the hydrogen line. We are watching history unfold in real time, perhaps the most significant moment in human civilization. The green visitor approaches, its purpose unknown, its origin mysterious, its technology beyond our comprehension. All that remains is to see what happens when it arrives. So what are your thoughts on this latest development of 3i Atlas? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on 3i Atlas.